Hello everybody, Bill Lovelace with lovelacenews.com and I'm here with one of my, I was going to say oldest friends, but longtime friends, Bruce Double D McCray in his office. Yeah, my office. Yeah. This is it, Bill. This is where I, uh, I do the work and uh, Zoom meetings, probably eight of them today and <laughs> still get to have the Olympics on. And, uh, and how many, I'm curious, how many cups of Sheldrick's coffee do you have a day? About a pot and a half. Really? And that's decaf? No. <laughs> no. So, uh, I've known Bruce since I was 16 years old. Yep. We met on the Catholic retreat, retreat. called Search. Search and Search. we're still searching. We're still searching. Well, we kind of found well, it. I found mine. You found I found yours. yours. Yeah. yeah. You know, I found it. Yeah. And, it's, and this is so cool because I used to smoke cigars In the years back down below. down below and he's just remodeled. This is so cool. He has a, a view of the, the school across the street. Well, he's right. And yeah, that's right. There's the pyramid. This is so cool Thanks. that you invited me into your cave. And look, oh, we're watching a little... Olympics. What is this game called? I think it's... Uh, uh, something lacrosse? Like, yeah, I don't know what it's like. What is it? It's oh, lacrosse. it's... Oh, it's... Oh, I, yeah, oh, I thought it was volleyball. I'm sorry. Half-court basketball. Is it really? Yeah. Now, Bruce is a big, big booster of <clears throat> Cal State Long Beach athletics, especially volleyball. Men's volleyball, women's volleyball, beach volleyball. I'd and say, basketball. Yeah. Yeah, I like basketball, but I don't, you know, it puts me to sleep. So it's, uh, um, I'm, I'm more into volleyball, water polo, water polo, women's water polo, men's water polo. It's an hour. I can go anything for an hour. I can go there and watch it and be happy and leave. But then your ADHD kicks in. And <laughs> then I got to do something else. <laughs> you know, all the sports there. I, I try to give to all the sports, and I, I, I believe in the sports. I believe in Long Beach State, and that's where I tied my dollars. Half of what I make, Bill, in salary goes to Long Beach State. Not Amazing bad. for a high school educated kid. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I remember you uh, when you first got your job as a loader at UPS. Forty-five years ago. And you were loaded at Cerritos, right? No, Anaheim. 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 How Cerritos many years did you? Go. How many years did you load? Trucks. Three years. Three years as a loader. I went and then to you splitter. Got, and then you uh, got a driver. Yeah. Then I went and to how drive. many years were you a driver? Almost five. Five. And years. that was in South County. That was in Costa Mesa. Okay. Yeah, Costa Mesa. Yeah. There's all my plaques. There's Let's all see. my years of service box. So, just got the newest one, 45 years. Right there. Bingo. Yeah, this is a, a picture of our founder. It's Jim Casey right there. I see him those, all the time on your post. Those are his business cards. Well, that is cool. Isn't that cool? Jim and George Casey. Just gotta believe. Gosh. Good luck and best wishes. That's Paul Casey. That's George Casey's son. Oh, who? So, got me the cards. Yeah. Wow. It's my favorite one up there, and I'm shaking the hand of the CEO, Mike Eskew. When I'm shaking his hand, I says, hey, you're shaking the hand of the next CEO of UPS. And all the guys laughing. You called it? No, I wasn't. Oh, no. you're, you're I just... told him I was the next CEO. Oh, 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 of course. <laughs> so. You have to have spirit. That's Valerie. That's your sister Valerie, who yeah. I'll be interviewing in about a week or two. Very cool. Uh, our new stained glass thing and the yeah. eccentric and the S and all of our artwork. And you are a member of 1199. Absolutely, lifetime. This is impressive. One of my favorite comedians of all time. Got to have lunch with him. He was amazing. And this is another comedian. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, before I had my heart attack, I was with Senator McCain. I hosted a fundraiser for him. And he looked at me and he walked in. He said, Bruce, I said, Senator, how are you? He says, you look like shit. And he I, said that? I had the heart attack the night before. Oh, but that's I did, right. I did, it was in Arizona. I, was in I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I told him it was either the cigars and the Mexican food that got me. Or it was the bacon. Heart. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then I came home and bingo. turned out So, you t I'm going to back up a little bit because you told me. You knew you were having heart issues, but she said, I'm, I'm getting on that plane, Bill, oh, because cause the kids and everyone, I don't want them to come. This is how selfless you are. Wow. I, I don't want, want my kids going to, to Arizona at some hospital. Bill, I was going to go broke if I had to bring all my kids there and all the family right, there, right. I'd be in there for a couple of weeks. So. And then I visit you several times doing yeah. what I'm doing now, right. videotaping you. Right. In fact, I vid uh, videotaped the night before your surgery, the yes. surgeon. Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I, and I, I was in there. Yeah, you bet. And 
God bless all those fine doctors over Amazing. at Memorial. Because they helped me. 20 years ago, this Friday, I had my brain, brain surgery. surgery. What did and, I uh, tell you? Oh, tell uh, them quickly the story about you visiting so me. Bill's going to go into brain surgery, which means he could die. So I said, <laughs> Bill, you know, you have a good chance of dying. Could you please tell my dad hi for me? And his wife at the time is looking at me and says, well, what, are you, what, is, what are you saying? Like oh, that? Granted, this is 1030 at night. Yeah. All the lights are down. And Bruce just barrels in <laughs> yeah. with a suit and tie. Everyone yeah. thinks he's a doctor. Well, I I but doctor. you are. You're yeah. a doctor of love. Oh, doctor of love. Love doctor. Yeah. So that, anyway, was, that, that was, was fun. You lived through it, baby. You lived through oh, it. Oh, barely. And there's Arnold again. You've had a few cigars with Arnold. Many cigars. Oh, speaking of which, there it is yeah. right there. Yeah. Very blessed. And that's a tattoo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. I like how that's phased out there. By, look who's it signed by uh, Bob and Elizabeth Dole. This is? Yeah, that's why I had it signed in 1996. Dana Warwalker. Yeah. Chris Cox, Chris Cox, Bob, Bill Livingston, Dan Quayle, Newt Gingrich, Bob Dornan, Jay Kim, Randy Duke Cunningham, and Ron Packard. Yeah. Oh, great Democrats. I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they definitely were Democrats. Look at this. And double ACP award. Yeah. Is that Doreen? And... Very, 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 oh, look very at that. Yeah, very honored. Look at this one. Buzz Aldrin. Now, look at, you have some collectibles that are awesome. He sent that to me when I got when I was uh, uh, when I got to be a division manager. So I got that. And what is your title? Current title at UPS now? Vice President, U.S. Government Affairs. And you were a lobbyist also, mm -hmm. or in still? all my states, but California. But back back up a little bit on your career. You were like head of security or something at one no, time. No, I was no. an investigator for UPS oh. for a number of years. Yeah. So investigating just crimes within the anything? inside, outside, anything that affected wow. my company. Yeah, it was great. Did they gun. give you a gun? No, I'm kidding. No. So can we go downstairs and just take a quick peek of the whole sure. place? You don't mind with yeah. shooting? We'll do a brief. Can you hold this while I go to the back? No, <laughs> kidding. Okay. And this is this this uh, Olympic signature. These signatures here are a lot of these guys played Cal State Long Beach, correct? No, 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 no. no. These are everything. From oh, these are way back in the day. <coughs> Janet Evans, uh, Mary Ellen Clark, um, Pat McCormick. That's where I got it from. Pat gave that to me. Al Otter. Now, what, you, you got to have something Misty me out here somewhere, yeah, right? right? There. Yeah, and you've done a few of the Belmont Shore parades with her, right? Yeah, she was rock star. Yeah. And you've been doing the Belmont Shore parade for 20 plus years, right? And I don't do it anymore. Yeah, they, 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 they locked me out. So, uh, well, <laughs> that's when they had Simmons Cable, and they don't have that anymore, right? Yeah. It's all good. And we're coming downstairs. Don't get real close. Don't need everybody to know. Okay, we're done. There you go. <laughs> Let's end on a good note. Give me the history behind this cross. Lisa gave it to me. She got it in uh, um, when she was in France. Lisa is your BFF. Yeah, and she got that when she was in France uh, when they were doing the uh, European Disney. I'll, ta I'll tag her on this post. Yeah. So, she still, where does she live now, Oregon or? In uh, Arizona. 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 All right, well, I'm gonna cut the video off because Bruce is gonna make me a stiff coffee. Yeah. And uh, Bruce, thanks so much for taking time with Lovelace News. And we're gonna get him to do a few uh, news pieces in the future for us. Let's do it, Bill. Looking forward to it. All right, see ya. See ya.